What is up guys this is NK here back again and you are watching Super Tech League. So in this video we are going to review Pixel OS ROM. This ROM is available for almost all the devices out there. So the features are gonna be same for all the devices. So without a further ado let's get started with it guys. I will talk about different aspects you need to consider while deciding to install this ROM. Feel and customization. If you're a kind of a person who likes stock experience, then this ROM will be a great fit for you. This ROM is absolutely based on Pixel devices and provides a very good experience without any lags, unlike stock OS. This ROM is far better than the stock ROM and I will tell you why in a bit. The one feature I would like to talk about now is the ambient display which is very smooth and very helpful at night. And also if you're a type of a person who doesn't like stock experience, and want some customization or they want to spice some things up then there's a video coming up so please make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe my channel and I also have a video on Havoc OS which is a very good ROM according to me so do check the ROM out uh, I will leave a link in the description and click the i button for that video moving on with the performance section here i don't know what's wrong with the android one but performance is way better on pixel os than the stock room as you can see the benchmarks it's not the best out there here but pubg runs absolutely fine pubg has become a standard for me to test out the performance so let's go and test out as you can already see pubg runs absolutely fine without no frame drops but let's go and test it on higher settings we can play it can run on high frame rates on hdr so thumbs up but one thing i noticed was a lot of heating other than that you're good to go with this rom so that's absolutely one more reason to upgrade to pixel os from stock rom for the better performance you get battery we do get digital well-being and we also got a pretty good battery backup it was about five to six hours of screen on time without any gaming so if you're someone who's into social media and uh, no gaming and you generally need this rom for day-to-day -day tasks then battery backup will absolutely be good for you. So that was a short simple review and there's not much to tell about this room because you don't get any kind of customization options in here. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you did like the video. If you did make sure you hit that like button down below and make sure you subscribe my channel. And if you're new here consider subscribing. So this is NK here and I'm signing off. We make the strings louder.